update number 11 on the high def nest project this is the update on the update so I have fixed all the known bugs and added a few small features and I think it's about done and I'm going to get ready to release it so I was gonna go through and show how it works and how the update is applied and all that fun stuff so getting right to it first things first everything should work like it did before However, now I've changed save, save and update is now save and options and there's the save settings, there's the 1080p 60 height, so I wanted to have 5x height, but I couldn't do it, so the default's 4.5 or you can have 4x. And what this does is in 1080p mode, in 4x mode, um, you, get an, you get an exact 4x height, which a lot of people wanted because then when you do the scan lines, here, if you do the NES mode, oh yeah, it helps if you uh, change the depth, doesn't it? Then it makes um, nicer scan lines. It should look nicer on some people's monitors. On this monitor, it still doesn't look the best, but not a lot I can do on that. Now, if you change the setting, you have to restart it. You have to save it, and then reboot the system for it to take effect. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it take effect immediately, but uh, that's the brakes. Everything else in the menu is pretty much the same. I did change a few things. The default audio level for FDS is now lower because it was really loud in the Digi channel on MMC5. I changed that a little bit because it was really loud also. And also I fixed this so now when you select the scan line it will actually, it will remember which setting you've used. So there's 4x which is like what the, um, what it should look like. So that's the 4x mode and then the height is 4x also. What didn't work was the EverDrive was still having problems and the FDS was still having problems so now I hope I have that fixed. I'm using this Analog NT Proto here. So FDS is installed. Turn it on and also the other thing that that happens now is the video no longer rolls on startup. So it just, if you reset, it just looks like it normally should. FDS did not work at all, so now it seems to work pretty good. In this game Gyrus here, this is a legit Gyrus here. It would just load the first, the first um, thing, and it would say set side B, and then I would set side B, and it wouldn't do anything. And I look, and the CPU is just crash. And it do this literally every time, and there's just no way to make it actually load the game. So just do this and then you'd flip it over and it wouldn't even read the disc. And you do it every single time. I never did get it to load until after I fixed the timing here. And here now it works fine. So what I'll do is here I have the scaler on because I like it and I know a lot of people don't like it so I'll turn that off. There we go. Do a little intro here. Please wait. Actually, the audio is coming out of my uh, PVM here. I had the audio turned down here. I'll turn the audio up. Turn the PVM audio. Then I have to turn the. Um, FDS channel on. Like that. There. Whoops. interesting. I wonder what control A and B did. I don't like control B a whole lot. Here I'm gonna reset that. Try 
try loading it again just for fun here. Now that the FDS channel is back on, it should work just from the start. Yep, and this always would crash right here and it would never read the disk again. But it works fine now. <laughs> I like how Pluto and Neptune are backwards on their little planet chart there. This game seems to be working just fine now. No glitches or anything. In any event, that's working. So now... this awesome pirate version of Doki Doki Panic here. The insert is a piece of photographic film with the artwork on it. And then of course my disc here, if you can read it, says Nintended. So that's side A. See if this loads. This was having some problems. This would normally load but it would be all corrupt and then the game would crash when you start tried to play it. Wait. If this is a pirate version, all the levels are unlocked, of course. We'll just start at 1 1. Unlike Mario 2, there is no running in this game. It only just goes one speed. Thank you. 
the controls a little different than on uh, Mario 2. Stay in the air longer, so it's kind of weird. It's kind of hard to describe. game people were having problems with was Castlevania 3, so let's give that a shot here. So now this game seems to work pretty good and the reset button even works, so you don't need Game Genie anymore. works pretty well so I tried some other I tried some other MMC5 games and they all seem to work fine as well so that pretty much concludes all the updates I've done so I'll just run through them really quick so I fixed the timing now so FDS MMC5 IE Castlevania 3 here and theoretically the EverDrive should all be properly functioning now I don't have an EverDrive. Jason took his EverDrive back, so I was going to go and borrow it again. I bought one, but it'll take two or three weeks to get here, so it'll be a while before I can test it, but I'll send this update out to a couple people, and they can test it for me. But I'm pretty sure everything's good. Um, let's see, I also adjusted the FDS default volume, the MMC5 volume, added that 4X mode, and fixed the bug with the scan line. Um, mode being not being saved so that's all fixed now and I think that's just about everything that people found 
and all the little nagging things that people want to change. Oh yeah, the other thing I changed was the LED flashing in composite mode. Someone was complaining that it, it was really obnoxious, so I kind of changed it a little so it's not so obnoxious anymore. But most people aren't going to actually see that LED, so eh, not a big deal. So anyways, yeah, I'll release this update in a little while, and then if you have an EverDrive or a power pack, you can just put it on there and plug it in and go to update and update your system and if you don't I'm not sure but we may make some cartridges we can mail around so you can use that to update thanks for watching